Hello, welcome back to the Alt Phone channel. When moving data from old iPhone or simply setting up your Apple ID on your new iPhone 13. Some users stuck on setting Apple ID for long time. In fact, it usually only takes a few minutes. In today's video, I will show you four methods to solve it successfully. Let's get started. Method 1, Force Restart. Force Restart may solve the delay or lag problem. Although the success rate of the solution is small, you can try it. I will show you how to force restart your iPhone 13. So press and release the volume up button, press and release the volume down, and then press and hold the side button until the screen goes black. Just like this. About a few seconds later, you will see the Apple logo up here. OK, then you can try to log in your Apple ID again. Method 2, Switch Network. This method is suitable for your network problem. Just go to Setting, Network. Then choose another available network to connect. After that, you can try to log in your Apple ID again. If it's not due to network issues, try the next one. Method 3, Use iTunes Restore. This method is a bit complicated. Follow me patiently. So, open iTunes on your computer. Once open it, plug your iPhone into the computer. We should put it into recovery mode. For iPhone 13, we need to press and quickly release volume up. Press and quickly release the volume down. And then press and hold the side button. Don't release your finger even if you see the Apple logo. Then you will see the computer icon appears iTunes will show that your iPhone needs to be updated or restored. Here we choose the Restore. Then we click Restore and Update. iTunes will start to restore your iPhone. Well, it's completed. Here you need to set up your new iPhone. Then log in your Apple ID. Method 4. Use Alt Phone iOS System Repair. Alt Phone iOS System Repair can fix about 150 iOS system issues. Let's see how it works. So open Alt Phone iOS System Repair on your computer. Keep your iPhone connected with your computer. On the home screen, we click Start. Then choose Deep Repair for higher success rate. Download the firmware. Then we start Deep Repair. OK, it says the Deep Repair is completed. Then you can set up your iPhone again. It only takes a few seconds to log in to the Apple ID this time. So guys, that's all for today's video. If you think this video is helpful, don't forget to give it a thumb up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you.